Hi everyone, my name is Olivia Gallo. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. We're in PJ pants today, um, so I urge you to also get in PJ pants and just chill out and, you know, have this video be a cozy video. I am feeling a little under the weather. I don't know if it's allergies or if it's a cold, but grab your favorite fall drink, snuggle up in bed, and we're just going to talk about some some bags. The lighting in this video is going to shift just because I'm recording this at 6 o'clock at night and we're at the time of the year where it gets dark really fast, so I'm going to try and, like, work with it and, like, move my window shutters to fix the lighting every now and again. I've been scavenging the internet for like the past couple of days looking for some casual bags and although I found a really cute bag, I think it's from Samo, Samo Ondo, so cute, really cute, kind of expensive not gonna lie, but I found so many videos on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram of just designer bags and although I found that one bag, it was like the outlier amongst every video just being about like designer handbags and designer tote bags, that's just not me. I don't really care for a name, I care for functionality. So this is the not designer bag collection video. Quick disclaimer, I've been collecting bags since I was like 11 years old. A lot of these bags were gifted to me, some are secondhand, and the ones that have been bought were bought by me and my own money. This is like the only part of my life that I really over consume other than Aquaphor because I just love bags. I think bags spice up an outfit, make an outfit, add a pop of color. You know, my mom and sister love shoes. I love the bags, so let's get into it. If you've been a subscriber for a while, you probably would have seen this video or maybe you subscribed because of this video. And the first bag that I'm going to talk about is the Fior Raven Kink, an original sized backpack in the color frost green. That's like second nature now. I've said it a million and one time. Times. This bag I bought in 2022. If you haven't seen the other video, I will reiterate the story behind it. I bought it in 2022 for a Rex Orange County concert because I was going to be at the Budweiser stage on the lawn. So I thought I'm going to get a big enough bag to put a blanket, maybe some water bottles, bug spray, all that stuff. And then he ended up canceling his concert, but I still use it to this day. I've used it for all my years of university so far. I'm in my third year. Used it for countless amounts of vacations. I'm gonna give you a price range of every bag, the name of every bag, and where I got it from. We do not gatekeep. So if you have any questions about these bags, they'll be linked below for the ones that I can get a link for. But if you have any further questions, comment them, and I will be more than happy to answer them. But yeah, so this bag was around $100. Ooh. If you get this bag, it is quite expensive. This is, I think, one of the most expensive bags that I have in my collection. If you get this bag, use it. I mean, it's a good school bag. It's really durable, water resistant. The only thing about this bag is that it can't fit a water bottle, like on the outside, on the out pockets. You know, from personal experience, a water bottle has spilt in my bag and destroyed my MacBook. So I wouldn't really recommend putting one in the bag. But if that isn't a deal breaker for you, this could be a great bag. Fits small umbrellas on the sides, has a big front compartment that can fit literally everything and a big main compartment with a laptop sleeve in the back. I love this bag. I will continue to use it until I can no longer use it. And I've got my like Eevee keychain because I love Pokemon. So the next bag is a bag I actually made myself. I thought I would just include it in the video because technically it is still a bag that I own. It's this tote bag. It says you are loved with strawberries around it. I made the design. My mom and I sublimated it onto a bag. I think it's sublimated. I think that's the term. I have like some of my products in here, like journals, memo pads and whatnot. So that's what this bag is for. Next bag is this one. This one I believe was anywhere between like 40 to 55 dollars i bought this in florida and so i got this from hot topic bought it in july but i picked it up because for some reason it reminded me of ramona flowers and it's really really cute and it's super big like if we look at the size it is very very big so we've got this first big main compartment obviously in the front here and then in the main compartment we have a zipper pocket and we also have a couple of other pockets there is also a front most pocket here as well and then it has side pockets these are great for like umbrellas it also has a pocket in the back of it which is closed by magnets and the front one is closed by like this little snapshot i really like this bag i have brought it to school a couple of times when i just needed to bring like my macbook and like a few other things so yeah that's this bag the next bag is this 
force green bag. So this one I actually bought when I was working at Staples in 2021. Staples, the office supply stationery store. And I bought it because I got a 50% discount on it and I was really looking for a tote bag that was green that would fit me. We've got the pocket up front that closes by Velcro and we just have the main compartment that doesn't have a closing mechanism, which I found that I really like on tote bags just for the security aspect of it. I think this one's really cute and I used it a lot of the time when I wanted to add green to my outfit. As you can see, I love green and I always have green on me. This is from the brand, I don't even know what it's called. GS. I will put it on the screen what this stands for, but it's like Staples brand. Like, you know how Walmart has their own brand? Yeah, it's just like the Staples brand. So that's this one. I bought it for anywhere between like $15 to $25. It was three years ago. Can't really remember, but she's a gem. She's been loved. She's been used. Next bag is one of my only designer bags that I have. All the designer bags, quote unquote, that I have have been gifted to me. I have not bought any of them with my own money. This one was for my birthday, I believe in 2019. And because this one is a gift and the other designer bags are a gift, I can't necessarily give you a price. I will try and find them and link them below for you so maybe you can find the price on the website there. But this one was a gift for my birthday for my mom. It is a Michael Kors backpack. This was when small backpacks were like really in. Maybe it was even like 2018. Like that whole time period where small backpacks were like the it thing, that's when I got this. I have two pom poms on here when pom poms were really popular. I really liked this blue color. We have this frontmost compartment empty but i used to keep like my wallet in there and like tickets if i had physical tickets and then we have the main compartment which has this pocket in the back and this pocket in the front i think it's like pretty spacious if you are very minimalist and yeah i did like this cute little thing with the bag straps as well where like i crossed them when i wore it on my back it kind of looked like that like it had that x but i only ever really wore it like on one shoulder anyway. I think this bag is so freaking cute. This tote bag my mom gave to me. It says one chapter at a time because she knows I like to read. My mom does like sublimation on like shirts. She does like heat press on tote bags, on mugs. She does sublimation, she does it on hats, she does it all. So when she was figuring out tote bags and all that stuff, she made this one and it actually turned out really good and I like the quality of this bag too. That is she. So that one obviously doesn't have a price because it was given to me. Next is this mini crossbody bag with an Anya keychain, which I think I'm actually gonna move onto my everyday bag because I love Anya. If you don't know Anya, she's from Spy It's Family. She's so cute. This bag I got off of Sheen. I do not shop from Sheen anymore for obvious reasons. If you know, you know. This was before that whole thing came out. I think I bought this in like COVID, like 2020 era. This was no more than $15. You can probably find a similar one from another website. I I really liked this bag because crossbody really do like crossbodies. I like the canvas bags and also it you know fit just enough and it has a zipper closure. Next bag is this four screen bag from Notebook Therapy. This bag is so freaking cute and the funniest part is I didn't even get it full price. Main compartment we've got here and it has some pockets. I love tote bags with pockets and it also has buttons. The reason why I say I didn't pay full price for this was because, you know those Amazon warehouse like return places that you go to, like you can dig through the bins and find stuff? So when I went, I actually found this. And I think I paid like $11 for it. But yeah, so I didn't even get this full price, but I think it was, I just, I love green. She's been loved, still use it very often. So the next bag I actually have three of which never happens, but I have three of. It's the Uniqlo shoulder bags. I love these bags so much. When people say you can fit your entire life and more, they meant it because you can. Like you can fit a Kindle in here, literally everything, phone, wallet, keys, portable charger, fan, like perfume, like anything you can think of fits in here and you have even more space, you know? The first one that I bought, and these were, I believe, $25 from Uniqlo. I don't even think they have these specific types of materials anymore, but I'll go through them anyway. This is the white nylon, like original launch bag. This one has been used, it's been loved. If you can tell, like there's so many stains on the outside, that's excluding 
you know, the inside with pen stains in it. I love this bag. This got me really into Uniqlo bags. And so that's why I bought a second one. <laughs> Second one that I bought was this one. Pretty much the exact same bag. Only difference is this one's brown and corduroy. I was looking around for different like colored Uniqlo corduroy bags recently. They don't have them anymore. They like just for some reason don't have them and I really wanted the green one. But yeah, so they don't have them anymore but every Uniqlo bag has the pocket um, organizers, and then of course the main compartment. I love corduroy, I love the way it feels, I love the way that it looks, I love the texture that it gives to an outfit, so that was the second one that I got. And because I couldn't find a green one in the corduroy or in the original nylon, I had to settle for, I believe this is also nylon, but it's a different, like, it's a different texture. This was like their third launch of bags or something. Yeah, so those are my three crossbody shoulder bags from Uniqlo and I absolutely love them and use them all the time. The next bag was a bag that I had asked my dad for in like eighth grade or something like that um, because I didn't have a really nice going out bag so when it came time for my you know graduation or when it, I needed to go out for a dinner or something I didn't have a really nice bag to bring. Before we continue, I wanted to put what I'm about to say next at some point in the video and I think it is appropriate to put it in this specific section of the video because I kind of sound like a spoiled brat. I'm gonna be real, I sound like a spoiled brat. I just asked my dad to buy me a going out bag and he bought it for me and if I remember correctly, this is me before looking for all the prices, that bag was around $200. Every day I'm grateful for my father for being able to provide for my family, okay? Every single day. He works his butt off to provide for my sister and I, and I'm eternally grateful for it. I recognize the privilege that I have being able to ask my father at the age of 13 when I do not need a bag like that, if I can have a bag like that, because I think it's nice. I'm no longer materialistic like that. I'm 20, I've grown up. I still just wanted to acknowledge and just let you guys know that I understand that I have privilege that a lot of people may not have. I try not to take anything that I have for granted. Also, I say really nice going out bag like I actually had places to go at 13. Like the most I went to was like school and then like home. And then on the rare occasion, I would go to a restaurant for my friend's birthday. But like at 13, we were still having like birthday parties. Like we would go to like trampoline places and stuff that I did not need a designer bag for. So it was purely just materialistic. And again, not that person anymore. Nuh-uh. All right, let's continue. I got this Michael Kors bag. I really do like it. I like the colors. However, again, I don't really like designer bags all that much. I just thought it'd be good to have one around in case I need to go out. And you know what? Like, she is in use when I need her. I don't like to mess around with her too much because I don't want her to, you know, get destroyed. I need a bag that I can rough up, basically. Like, I need a bag that I can throw around and, like, it'll be fine, you know? This one, I just feel like I can't. But on the inside, we've got a nice little zipper. If you can see, a pocket down there, two there, and then one here. There's not much to say about this bag other than I like the fact that it's crossbody and the fact that it does have a zipper closure. I personally wouldn't buy more bags like this, but I think having one nice bag around isn't too bad. Then I've got my Fuel Raven Kangen sling bag. I was looking everywhere for these bags and then I found it at Indigo. And I really do like this color. I don't know the exact name of the color, but I think it's so freaking adorable. It's just a smaller version of the bigger original size backpack that I've got. It has the front compartment with my pins. It has the main compartment and it has a zipper in the back, which I like to put my Kindle in. Keychains that I got are the Nugget keychain. I've got, I don't even know what this is, but I got it. And I have my pins and this cute little keychain over here. But yeah, this is really, really, really cute. I use her a lot too for, you know, if I'm just going out kind of thing, going out on the town. This I think was $90, which I do have to say is very pricey. For a bag this size, it is very pricey. However, again, very durable, made of really durable material, water resistant. But again, like $90 is kind of crazy, but this was just like an impulsive like buy and I bought it at Indigo for $90. Next bag that I have is this really cute little bag. I got this bag 
for free, I guess, when I purchase a shirt or like a sweater from a vendor at Fan Expo. Carmico, Carmico, I don't really know how, how to pronounce it, but when I bought my sweater, it came in this tote bag. I was obsessed with this tote bag like the entire day, okay? So I got it 2023, like the entire day. I was like, guys, look at my tote bag. Like it's so freaking cute. Like it was just me in a bag. Like this is, this is me in a bag, you know what I mean? And it has that closure, which I've never really seen on a bag. Yeah, it is literally the cutest thing ever. There's no price range for this, obviously, because I got it for free technically, but she is still used to this day, loved and adored, and I will forever keep using her because again, this is me in a bag. Next bag is my everyday bag, pretty much. It is this Claude Monet canvas bag that I was gifted last year for Christmas for Secret Santa. You can find it on Amazon, I will link it down below, but I adore this bag and it's been used and it's been loved and thank you so much for getting it for me. I love Claude Monet and I love canvas tote bags and I love green, so like you can, you just, you, you know. I've got so many cute pins in here. This one got for my boyfriend, this one got for my sister and these I believe came with the bag, I think when they got me the bag, they also got me the pins. This bag is super cute. She's like <laughs> breaking from the straps, but she has a zipper closure, which I love. On the inside, she also has another zipper closure and just, of course, the big compartment, but I love, hello? But I love this bag so much and it fits everything and more. This is a bag that I got in New York last year at a BT21 pop-up shop in Times Square. I don't know how much this costs. I feel like it was less than 35 USD. That's what my gut's telling me. I really liked this because it's so cute. Of course, the zipper closure. But I used this when I went to the gym a lot. Fit everything that I need to. Like my key fob, keys, phone, hand sanitizer, wet wipes, like... Everything went in here. And so she's very cute. So this is my first ever tote bag that I bought and used. This is from Sheen. Sorry guys, 2020 Sheen was like the thing. As you can see, very stained, very used, very loved. Got a pocket there and it has a <laughs> zipper closure. Wow. Thank you for opening my eyes to the world of tote bags. We're almost at the end here, I promise. This bag is a bag I got in New York. It is from Lululemon. I really liked this. We walked into Lululemon at Hudson Yards. I think that's what the mall was called. We went into Lululemon because my cousin's a nurse and she needed like scrubs. And I caught this bag with, with my eye. I was in the corner and I was like, it's green. Got the front pocket and we've got the big accordion pocket here with a pocket in the back. It fits pretty much everything that you'd need. This is like one of my smallest bags. Like you gotta be very minimal when you wear these bags. So like keys, phone, wallet, and you're out the door. Maybe tissues if you've got allergies like me. This bag I bought in Florida and I believe it was $12.99 USD. I bought this bag because I really needed a belt bag while I was in Florida. I needed specifically like a belt bag that I could clip and unclip while I was in the parks, you know, all that stuff. So this I bought from, I believe it was TJ Maxx. It was TJ Maxx. It's like the Lululemon belt bag dupe, $12.99. Got, you know, the big pocket, two pockets here with a zipper pocket in the back. And again, it is closed by a zipper. So I love this bag. You see my room starting to turn green because my green LEDs are on. So if you're like, girl, why are you like alpha go right now? Tis why. Next is the Uniqlo shoulder bag. I don't think they sell these ones anymore. This was their first initial launch again. I got one for me and I got one for my boyfriend. I got him the black one and I got myself this gray one. I don't think they sell this specific bag anymore. This one doesn't really have a structure. It's very round, but it fits everything. Like, do you see that? It fits quite literally everything. But the newer shoulder bags that they came out with have side pockets and it's more rectangular. It has just more structure, so it doesn't like, you know, on you. That's what's nice about the newer ones. I do like these ones though. I think they have a really cool like shape and look to it, especially if you're going for more of like a streetwear look. But yeah, I think the newer ones definitely are more functional, especially since it has more pockets and more structure, but. When I bought this, that wasn't a thing. And the last bag in my collection was recently gifted to me in August. It is a Trader Joe's tote bag. I use this bag and my everyday bigger tote bag every day. <laughs> That's because they just fit so much and I always like am on the go and you never know what you need. And so that is why I have this now to use. 
pocket in the front, pocket in the back, and a big pocket in the middle. It's like a beach bag, if that makes any sense. But yeah, apparently there was like a whole like horde, you know, of people going after these bags. And I didn't even know it existed until it was in my hands. All right, everyone, that is all of the bags that I have that I use often, pretty much every day. And yeah, if you have any cute bags that you want to show me, let me know. You can DM me on Instagram, comment down below, put a link in the comments, like show me your cute bags. If you have any recommendations, let me know. But yeah, that's that. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Okay, bye. See ya.